is a Chicago-based photographer, largely drawn to urban landscapes. Since he purchased his first camera at a garage sale at age six, he loves exploring his world through photography, capturing candid moments of life of, uh, in, uh, of life in the people on the streets, chasing light and shadow among, among the architecture and alleyways, discovering interesting characters on the public trains, and using his drone to explore the city from a new perspective. He is blessed to live in such a beautiful and vibrant city, and it's not Albany, it's Chicago. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. I accidentally muted Mark. <laughs> Mark, you can unmute yourself. <laughs> okay. There you uh, go. That was an accident. It wasn't supposed to mute you. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> there you go. Right. <clears throat> Things move too fast here. All right. Well, welcome to our general and uh, monotone competition night. And our I think our guest judge today is Mark Wiley, and uh, no further ado, we'll get on with the show here. So maybe I should preface things by saying that you know there was a there was a lot of really nice photos uh, among the group, and this was this was harder than I than I imagined to uh, sort of pick them out, and uh, and often you know articulating why you like something is uh, is a challenge. So I've done the best I can, but. Uh, but yeah, there were a lot of really good photos. Yeah, we're good to go here then. All right, let's start with the general category. And we have uh, 45 images, I believe, yep. Uh, we have five places and five honorable mentions. And just so you know, uh, Mark, we go through all the ones that did not place and you get a little commentary on each one and then we go through honorable mentions and then count down to first. Okay. All right. So first up is the color of magic, Alina Kesey. So I, I have to comment on all the photos. Oh, uh, yeah. I photos. mean, okay. Just, just a short little thing, you know, where you like okay. it, you know, like, okay. be better. I mean, uh, yeah. This is a this is a beautiful um, still life of a of a flower capturing the, you know, the details and the the dramatic background. Uh, yeah, it's it's very nice. Up is Behind the Falls, Iceland, Janice Pritchett. This, so yeah, I recently um, went to Iceland, uh, and uh, yeah, th this is a this is a lovely photo. You know, the the framing of the sky through the through the uh, uh, the rock and the and being behind the falls. It's very nice. Next up is uh, Canna Lily. Bert Van Grondo. Well, another, another, you know, capturing the, the beauty of nature. You know, still lives of flowers is a is something uh, I struggle with. Uh, but yeah, it's a very nice photo. Next up is Beach Girls, Kim Koza. I I love the 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 wispy sky and the and the beautiful reflection of the the shallow water, um, a, yeah, a, a very nice seascape. Next up is Duomo Milano ceiling, Frank Effner. Oh, beautiful architecture. Where, where is this? Um, I don't know, are you here? Yeah, nice detail and the sort of Interesting is that the natural color of the of the ceiling and the walls. Uh, I love a good architecture photo. I know Greg's in here today. Next up is uh, Eye of the Rose, Sean Sullivan. Lovely, lovely. Uh, just nature at, at its best. Yeah, fix that. All right. There we go. Next up is uh, beach combing, Sally Wilson. Uh, so was, yeah, I love the sort of the motion of this and the sort of the abstract quality. Uh, a nice scene captured, a nice moment. Hold on a second. I've got to uh, 
somebody's got their yeah it might go on. I gotta find them. Marty. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next up is a uh, hood ornament, Linda Tomasulo. Automotive detail. That's a that's you know nice sweeping lines to that one and uh, and vibrant color. Uh, what what's the make of that car? I don't I don't really know. Next up is photo finish, Alan Wiggins. Good action shot. Yeah, uh, it's it's. It's fun to go out and watch the watch the horse races and the thunder of the of the action. A, a beautiful, colorful scene with a lot of action. Next up is Green Eyes, Marguerite Hill. I love a good pet photo. It's nice, nice focal point of those those knowing, intelligent eyes staring at you. Uh, a beautiful animal there. Next up is the Fisher Fairy Sunset, Show Catronio. There's a cold scene with a with a warm sun. That one, I don't think I'd want to be on that lake right now. But yeah. <laughs> Next up is uh, Lichens, Rich Shrivesteel. Deep in the forest, there uh, a lot of nice texture and tone, the earthy tones. Very nice. He's an Ewok, Rich. Next up is Ice Fisherman, Ronald Schreer. Uh, great shot of a what I assume is probably a father and a son uh, out, you know, with the sort of echoing stances uh, and the pops of blue. Very nice. Next up, Sunset Pudding Creek, Dow Smith. A beautiful, beautiful framed, you know, uh, the, the patterns of the, of the, is that a pier we're looking through? It looks like a uh, uh, nice, a nice divided uh, composition. Pretty seen. All right. Next up is all eyes are on the red one, Dan Steen. So this is this is a looks like a a market of some kind, or they're they've got textiles. All eyes on the red one. A nice street, a nice street scene with some interesting sort of angles and and blocks of color. Next up is a young boy in tall grass, Jana Kaywood. I, I like this uh, uh, sort of the the young young man buried in the in the it looks like an adventure he's on. Huh? I think I see a Superman uh, emblem on his shoulder. Next up is market prices in 2019. Oh, beautiful farm stand, yeah. I love going to a good farm stand and there's always some nice colorful pictures you can take. A beauty. Next up is, which house are you, Sean Sullivan? <laughs> uh, sorting hat, uh, well lit. Uh, yeah, accentuating the texture of the hat. Very nice. Right. Next up is Hoverfly, Joe Catronio. Yeah, good insect uh, photography is fascinating to me. Uh, uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful fly in the end of a, of a flower. That's very nice. Next up is Waves, Raul Spear. Yeah, capturing a lot of energy there. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I love to just watch the waves. And 
Puffin on the Rocks, Marty Bannon. Beautiful puffin shot there. But the and the contrast between the rocks and the and the bird. Lovely. Next is letterpress, Bill Lanahan. I, I, yeah, I love the sort of the texture and feel of this one. Uh, my uh, my father was a newspaper guy. He kind of missed the the lead print uh, of this, and but yeah, some great tones and and a lovely shot there. Next up is Waterfall of the Gods, Neo Shapiro. Lovely, creamy water. Yeah, nice energy into this one. A beautiful scene. Next up is Curb Your Appetite, Rich Schreibstein. This has just like a, a nice vintage vibe. Uh, the, uh, you know, I love the sort of the camaraderie of the of the group. All the one at the end doesn't look so happy, but uh, the other one's enjoying their meal. Next up is is art under Route Seven Eighty Seven, Phil Olivo. Ah, nice sweeping lines leading you in and. Uh, and vibrant colors and sort of the the patterns of the three pillars. Very nice. Next is siblings, Phil Olivo. So this is I'm having hard trouble figuring this one out. Uh, you know, we got the got pillars, siblings. Yeah, I don't. Is it, it's a nice abstract with some color. Um, Next up is Pond Power Scorch Gardens Ireland. I love the the spattering of water on the on the lilies and a nice focal point there uh, of the of the pink bloom. Very nice shot. Next up is Phone Booth, Sharon Silversmith. Wonderfully framed uh, um, woman, or you get you know, the architectural detail and then the, the nice background. A nice quiet moment. Next is White Porsche Carrera, Alan Wiggins. There's a beautiful car, nicely lit. Yeah, Night nice Life lines on, on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Nightlife on the river, Dan Steen. Nice reflections and, and the you know the sky and the looks like some searchlights off in the distance. A nice, a nice quiet evening shot. Next up is on the red carpet, Elena Kesey. I, I love the sort of the layers of color of this one and the and the sort of vibrant vegetation with the somewhat stark dead, you know, trees coming out. Uh, very nice. Next is uh, My Mouth Hot Springs, Paul O'Keefe. So, uh, yeah, sort of the rugged, you know, uh, rocks with the with the flow, uh, very very nice, nice crusty feel to this one. No snowshoes needed, Claudia Jacobowski. Oh, yeah, beautiful wildlife shot. I love the falling snow and the marching uh, Canadian goose. Very nice. Next is down by the river, Janice Pritchett. 
lovely, lovely, yeah, the sort of the mystery of the haze and and I, I, I love the color palette of this one. Very nice. Okay, next is Lovebirds, Connie Frisbee Hood. Ah, oh, the, the sort of the, the heart-shaped silhouette of the two uh, and all the birds flying, a lot of, well, you know, contrast between the the energy of the background and the and the quiet moment shared by the two birds in the foreground. Very nice. Okay, our honorable mentions. First up, Roll in the Hay, Sharon Silverson. So I, I thought this was a, sort of a heartwarming scene of the two boys playing in the hay. Uh, you've got the nice low sunlight adding sort of a golden, golden warm feel to it. Uh, and just, you know, captures joy and innocence. The, uh, the fact... You know, there's there's sort of a touch between the two boys, uh, you know, that gives a nice human connection and a nice photo. Next honorable mention is, are you coming? Linda Tomasulo. So uh, we got a beautiful, peaceful scene of a person walking their dog on a on a snowy road, the, the, the nice thick woods framing it and forming a canopy over it. Uh, uh, falling slow snow, adding a sense of sort of serenity and stillness. Uh, just a winter wonderland, you know. And the next time I mention is waterfall fan Neil Shapiro. So you've got the raging river, the jagged rocks, the the green kayak, adding a pop of color and also giving a sense of scale you know it has everything you want in a an action photo you got some drama some danger intensity uncertainty you know it inspires feelings of of courage and daring so i i like this one a lot and the next time i mention is northville church kim Koza. so you got the the all white church covered in a blanket of snow, you know, the, the sort of the white of the church in the snow, you know, uh, evoking some some purity and that nice red door, a bold pop of color, drawing the eye, you know, a touch of warmth and um, inviting the, the, the viewer into the heart of the building. I, very nice. Uh, next I'll mention is Tired Sunflower. So uh, I, grew, I grew up in Kansas. State flower is a sunflower. I love a nice sunflower picture. And here you've got the once vibrant sunflower now past its prime, sort of facing down. You know, uh, you get sort of the sense of the fleeting nature of uh, of life and the inevitability of change. Um, uh, sort of the the cycle of life and death, you know, it uh, inspires feelings of of introspection for me. Hey, and our winners in fifth place, Fetch Sally Wilson. I just thought this was like an ex an intriguing abstract of of a dog in motion on what I imagine is a beach. Uh, uh, I like the the swaths of blue and yellow, uh, giving it a sort of a vibrant, energetic feel, and the sort of the repeated dog in the in the corner uh, gives it just a dynamic energy and joy. Um, you know, my dogs love going to the dog beach, um, uh, and there's just sort of that element of of mystery and intrigue that makes you want to sort of take a closer look at it. Very nice. In fourth place, Canyon Rim View, Bill Lanahan. This is just a just a nice, you know, I love the sort of stacked layers of one upon the and another, adding depth and dimension to the canyons. Uh, it's got a interesting color palette of warm browns and and grays. Uh, then you've got the 
silver ribbon of uh, a river snaking through, you know, adding a, a touch of light and shine to the to the rugged terrain. Um, just captures the the nature's raw beauty and and a very nice photo. Third place, yellow on yellow, Marty Bannon. So yeah, I love the way you know, sort of at first glance, you you get the the sort of nature, the beauty, beauty in the flora, uh, and then you notice the somewhat camouflage fauna. You know, it's always nice to surprise the viewer with something, but uh, sort of beauty in the beast here. Um, but it it adds a sense of, of balance and harmony to it. Um, uh, you know, appreciation for beauty and the diversity of nature. In second place, Mr. Starling, Greg Effner. So I just thought this was just a, a lovely wildlife picture. I, lo I love the, the detail and the feathers. You know, it's, it's predominantly a, a monochrome image with uh, some pops of, of yellow in the, in the patterns on the wings and the, and the beak. Um, just, just adds a little bit of, of brightness to sort of an otherwise somber palette. Um, and it just gives you a feeling of, of sort of stillness and serenity with the, with the snow falling against the calm of the bird. Beautiful shot. Now, first place winner for general category February is Cliffs Have a Downside. Just saying, Jeanne Kaywood. So I, I was really struck by the by the wonderful color palette of this one, um, the the vibrancy of the sort of fall colors and then the backdrop of the fog. Um, it's got an interesting sort of diagonal subject for a landscape, uh, and it you know goes from sort of warmer colors in the lower left to cooler colors in the upper right. Um, just a feeling of of tranquility and a uh, maybe a hint of of melancholy as you know it's capturing a moment in in fall where we all know that we're signaling the end of a season and and you know the approach of of winter but uh, but I just thought this was a beauty all right congratulations to our winners and great images everyone uh, let's go on to our monochrome category now we have 37 image Five places and five honorable mentions. And I'll get started. First up, so many cables. Sharon Silversmith. You know, interesting patterns and lines, and and sort of the contrast of of the older bridge against the the newer architecture in the background. Um, it's a it's a really nice shot. Next up is. Tiny Landscapes, Joe Catronio. So we got a, a trio of, of, of really nice, you know, the, the flowers, the foliage, and the, and the dew caught on the, on the blades of grass. Um, yeah, some definitely some nice tones in there. That is Desert Life, Paul O'Keefe. A nice, a nice, shot of, of of yeah the solitary tree and the otherwise sort of low scrub um just a yeah very nice shot very nice shot next up is rainy day in new york city alan wiggins uh, i love a good street photography uh shot this is a an active scene and uh some interesting uh sort of uh, intermingling of the of the different characters here. Yeah, just sort of the vibrancy of the city on a slightly damp day. Next is Swift Boats off Saigon River, Dow Smith. Oh yeah, an aerial shot of, of some boats. Some, you know, an interesting sort of uh, somewhat abstract uh, patterns of the of the the ripples created by the by the boats, yeah, fascinating shot. Next up is Maine buoys, 
Kim Koza. Uh, beautiful collection of, uh, of yeah, lobster pot buoys, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a nice collection, of different patterns. Next up is okay, Hinge Perogues, France, Phil Olivo. Excuse me if I butchered that, but uh, my French is rusty. Yeah, I love the love the texture of the wood and the and the mixture of materials here. Beautiful tones. Uh, yeah, that's just a very interesting, very interesting shot. Next up is You Missed the Other Waterfall, Jeanne K. Wood, our heart. So, yeah, so small water, a lot of, a lot of rugged uh, rocks and the, and the, the pool and the, and the cascading water. Very nice. Next up is weed, not that kind. Kim Kozik. This has great depth. I love the, the yeah. I mean, I think this is this is wonderfully rendered in black and white. Uh, beautiful texture and pattern. Very nice. Next is bent and lonely, Jana Kaywood. Oh yeah, this is sort of forlorn and a. Uh, Flopped over to the side, and and I do like the the vignette. Very nice. Next is fair shakedown. Rich Schreibstein. Here's here's an interesting street shot and tells a story. I'm not sure what that story is, uh, but I don't know what's going on here. But I uh, it does make me curious. Next up is Winter Wonderland, Greg Effner. Oh, here's a beautiful sort of frozen road and, uh, and the tree line street. Very nice. And the, the silhouettes going off into the distance. Very tranquil shot. Next is the stairs, Marguerite Hill. Nice, nice. Pattern and architecture shot uh, leading you up into uh, into parts unknown. Very good. Next up is photographer to be named later, Dan Steen. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a that's a nice portrait of a of a photographer that's bandanaed and masked, uh, uh, sort of incognito. Very nice. Next is Gilded Age Geometry, Marty Bannon. Nice patterns of uh, nice patterns in the in the light. Uh, very good. Yeah, the details of of architecture. Next is Diagonals, Helena Kiesing. Yeah, beautiful patterns of framed arches. Uh, and the diagonal shadows, a very, very intriguing image. Next is Tulip. I can't, I, I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Linda Thomas Tulip. Tulip and Hyacinth, Hyacinth, yeah. yeah. It's tongue tied oh, for very nice. <laughs> Yeah, lovely, lovely tones and the sort of the layer of the, of the, Foliage leading into it uh, and the petals. Very nice. Next is flower, Joe Catronio. Oh, another another flower close up. Lovely. Just nature is amazing, isn't it? Very nice. Next is drying out, Sally Wilson. I do like, I, you know, I love the. The crooked shadows of the railing leading up to the up to the shoes at the outside of the door. Uh, yeah, a very interesting image. Next is sink by a window, Dan Steen. Oh, an interior shot. Yeah, nice tones, ni nicely lit. Lots of interesting uh, uh, detail to to get lost in. Very, very nice. 
Next is Meet Roskva, the forest troll, Sally Wilson. A beautiful sculpture, yeah. Lovely, lovely tones on the on the sculpture, and a very interesting shot. Uh, wood among the trees, uh, very nice. That, uh, yeah, a very cool sculpture. Next is the weight of command, Phil Olivo. Oh, yeah, a, a soldier at uh, contemplating things. And yeah, with the with the tents going off into the background, very nice. Next is dressed for work, Marty Bannon. Oh, they they are very dressed. Lovely trio of horses with interesting details in their their regalia. Uh, next up is. Getting there, uh, Elena Kesey. This, yeah, lovely light and patterns. And is this a sculpture? I'm not sure what it is. Uh, looks like a person climbing along the ridge. Uh, yeah, but I do love the sort of the the swirling patterns and and tones of this. Next up is Arches, Bill Lanahan. L lovely sort of abstract gradients of uh, of the arches. This is very nice. Uh, some beautiful architecture. Next is Spring is Coming, Bill Lanahan. Can't come fast enough. That's a ni nice, nice winter waterfall scene. Um, and the you know the trees flecked with snow and the and the ice in the foreground uh, a nice cold winter scene. This is a light snack, Sean Sullivan. <laughs> a good candidate of uh, of someone enjoying some popcorn. Uh, very nice, very nice. Okay. Honorable mentions. First up, Nature's Magic, Neil Shapiro. So this is just has a lot of drama to it. Um, a lot of rugged and raw beauty of a dramatic landscape. I think the, the high contrast processing showcases the nice striated rocks, um, wonderful depth and dimension to it. Um, I think the, the the choice of the dark sky has a lot of drama to it. So it's a beautiful representation of of sort of the beauty and the majesty of nature. Very nice. Next up is Maggie, Claudia Jakubowski. Oh, I love a good I love a good dog shot. Uh, Maggie's a a beauty. Um, just sort of her eyes. Just uh, an immediate connection with the viewer. Um, good separation of the background. Well, also a good choice of the background that that's interesting but doesn't distract. Uh, you know, just a picture that inspires warmth and comfort, and you know, reminding me of sort of the wonder that our companionship that our pets bring to us. Very nice. Our next honorable mention is Two Islands, Linda Thomas Sewell. So the Two Islands, I mean, I'm trying to find my notes on this one. Um, a great, a great shot that of just sort of three beauty um, of a lake scene. You have, you've got the, you know, the island dominated by the one majestic tree. You've got, um, you know, it's just rising out of the, the calm waters. The reflection, I think, just sort of adds to the beauty. You've got the little rock poking up with the with the two ducks or birds. I don't know. Um, just, and I think the the mist in the background sort of adds to the to the intrigue and the mystery. Uh, just sort of a, the ethereal beauty of the whole scene. Very nice. 
Next honorable mention is Treeline Militant, Dow Smith. Love the the layers of this one. Um, just the sort of an, a beautiful sweeping vista of a landscape. The the sort of the darker layer, then the lighter layer, then the trees, then the the wonderful cumulus clouds. It's just a uh, you know I think the the clouds add a little bit of dramatic contrast and sort of motion to it. Uh, just a lovely, lovely scene there. Next time I mention is loopholes, Rich Schreibstein. So, you know, here it's sort of capturing, you know, what I think is a sort of a fascinating play of, of, of light and, you know, I don't know, if, you want to call it sculpture or sort of architectural detail, but uh, you know the arcing beams create a nice sense of motion and movement and fluidity, and then you've got the lattice that uh, creates some interesting lines. And I love the the shadows um, that give it a great sense of depth and dimension. Um, just a yeah, a nice little architectural shot. And our winners in fifth place. Cycling the Tetons, Greg Effner. I thought this just captured a lot of the magnificence of the of the Tetons. Um, and again, you got sort of the layers of the low scrub, then the you know the forested foothills, and then the jagged peaks with the patches of snow. Uh, just a lot of you know wonderful details. I like the way the the sky, sort of the sweeps of the sky echoed in the, the slopes of the mountains. Um, just, you know, does a good job capturing sort of the awe as you gaze up at the at the beauty of the Tetons. A very nice shot. In fourth place, the road to Valhalla, Neil Shapiro. Um, you've got just this sort of bare and imposing treeless mountainside uh, and this this lovely road that sort of winds up leading your eye in uh, that adds sort of a sense of perspective and and scale uh, the starkness of the landscape um, accentuated by the vibrant white clouds uh, again adding a nice touch of drama it just a reminder of sort of the vast grandness of our uh, of our natural world. In third place, rear window, Claudia Jakubowski. I, I like the perspective of this. I, you know, before I read, the, you know, the rear window where you're shooting from the rear window, you know, I felt like I was, I was the kid in the back seat, you know, just barely seeing over the, over the, over the seat at the dashboard. But, you know, it's just, Got a lot of nostalgia, and it feels like it's just been plucked from a from a different era, uh, sort of frozen in time. You've got the the hula girl that adds a little spirit of adventure and excitement uh, to your car trip, uh, and and you know the sort of the dark background um, just sort of adds to the intimacy, as if the the car is its own little world. Um, just yeah, a nice representation of sort of the the freedom and the escape that a that a car represents, uh, and makes you want to just sort of hit the war, hit the road, and leave your worries behind. In second place, Grand Central Bride, Alan Wiggins. So you know you've got sort of the the epitome of of chaotic, busy. Grand Central Station, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of wonderful movement caught, uh, and then you've got one thing that sort of stands out: um, uh, this bride in her dress, uh, you know, and the the contrast of her in white and most everybody else dressed darkly, um, and and the contrast of you know, here's one person having her her big day and, you know, the rest of the world is just moving on, hardly noticing her, but uh, 
Yeah, I just thought this was a, a wonderful blend of, of sort of motion and stillness and emotion uh, captured in a moment in time. A nice shot. And our first place winner, Sean Sullivan, the king. And, you know, this is, this is, I think this is just a beautiful picture of a car. Um, and and, a, and the, the black and white rendering of it um, was just, you know, perfect for this. Um, you know, you've got sort of the, the very unique front end of, uh, of the Ford Edsel um, and just a combination of the car, the dice hanging off the rear view and uh, the Elvis license plate just evoke sort of carefree days and good times. Um, it's, you know, a beautiful celebration of, of sort of automotive design and America's love for cars, I thought. Yeah, just just a very just a just a fascinating shot. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, great images, everyone. Congratulations to all the winners. I'm very humble to mine one. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing now. And if anybody has any questions for our judge, please feel free to unmute. So yeah, there were just a lot of great entries. Um, you know, you should, you should, you know, if I didn't pick yours, it's probably just my own personal bias. Or if I would have woken up on a different day, I might have. Uh, but uh, and and also, you know, yeah, you should you should go visit my my website. You'll see what my personal biases are in terms of shots, uh, the kinds of shots I take. But uh, oh, I also want to thank you, Mark. Um, I don't know, most people know we had a judge bow out. So we, we had all the shifting and you volunteered even what, on short notice, which uh, we ended up filling. So, but I do appreciate that a lot. And yes, your thank comments. You. Well, let's find a look at all your, all your photos. It was, it was, it was good. Hey. Uh, next week we have a presentation. I'm not sure what it is though. Linda, do you remember? <laughs> oh, Sorry. Yeah. Abstract architectural Angie, Angie McMonagle. Wait a minute. I figured she'd have it printed out. <laughs> yes, abstract architectural photography is what's on the there you calendar. Go. Angie McMonagle, abstract architectural photography. There we go. Well, we, have, we have a few of those tonight, so we should probably have some yeah, people interested in that. The following week is James Marr from City to Suburbs Street Photography. There you go. There you go, Rich. Hey, Linda. Yeah, is yeah. anybody else going to be there when I'm there? Or no. Probably not. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> hey, Linda. Yes. Uh, did I see somewhere on Facebook today's your birthday? Yes, it is. Yes, Happy it is. <laughs> Thank you. And that was my thing at the uh, pine bush. Yep. I saw it actually. Um, that was yellow on yellow. I saw it actually on the walk. They had the photos um, on yeah. the walk on the outside. Oh, he so, yeah. submitted that one to pine bush apparently. Yes. Happy birthday, Linda. Thank Everybody you. Sing. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Don't, don't sing. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, I had your. Uh... You can mute yourself and then sing. Yeah. Okay. It's out. <laughs> you might want me to mute if I sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Mark, I had your website before and I lost it. I think this is it here now, though. Again. Um, yeah. It's uh, markwiley.pixels.com. I think. Oh, that. Oh, is this a different one? I just went and searched for it. Uh, that is not me. Uh, oh, okay. I spell, I spell yeah. Wiley different. Yeah, it's markwiley.pixels.com. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I had looked at it before, but I didn't have it written on the sheet. So, okay. Well, uh oh, I don't know. You want to paste it in the chat? Because I got to look for it first, or I'll paste the wrong thing. Let's see. Um, let's see. I think I found it. Nope, I think he's got it. No, that's not you either. 
<laughs> must be a very common well, name. So <laughs> there's, a, a, there's nice. a lot of very talented uh, Mark Wiley photographers. I guess in the world, so. They're all photographers. Uh, um, you see the chat window, Mark? Can you paste your yeah, link in there? Mark I, I, I have com. It shows right up. Oh, there you got it. Okay. I didn't see it. Oh, I, oh, I have the uh, HTTP to it. So clickable. There we oh, go. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, I've, I've had a chance to criticize your pictures. You can, you can go take a look at some of mine. Okay. Yeah. I always try to give the judges a few moments if they want to show something in particular. Do you want to highlight any of your photos that you think people oh, might be? Oh, um, let's see. Um, I mean, I suppose I could I could share my screen and uh, and show sure. the website. Um, let's see. Okay, so um, you know, I I take a lot of um, Chicago skyline pictures, um, some of which I. I blend with uh, uh, with some of my own photos. You know, I've got so, I've got some nice some nice drone shots of of Chicago. You know, I just I just love the the lake. Um, you know, and the backdrop of the city. Chicago did a good job of uh, sort of planning a city along the lake, rather than having a lot of uh, of industry and whatnot. Uh, they got a lot of park park plans and um but i do a fair amount of street photography um mm -hmm. and you know a lot of pictures on on trains and whatnot um i've got some interesting uh, uh architecture we have some we have some beautiful buildings uh, here in chicago um but uh but yeah um Feel free to feel free to visit the website and and uh, what do you what do you shoot with for street photography? Um, I actually have a small Fuji, an X one hundred S, but it's very small. It's very quiet, um, and you know people don't uh, people don't really notice me with it, um, which is which is great. You can take pictures of of people on the on the train, and they. And they hardly notice you, um, and, and it's it's very quiet. Um, do you get depth level, or do you put it in front of your face when you're shooting? Um, a little of both. Uh -huh. uh, a little of both. Yeah, on the train when I when I don't want someone, you know, really notice I'm taking shots of them, uh, it may be hanging around my neck. But uh, a limited escape route. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, I use the X one hundred V. I like Mark, that one. And I like well, yeah, I, I you know I would like to upgrade mine. But yeah, yeah I've, uh, I've had mine for for several years. Um, yeah, because but it's it's my favorite. The flip screen allows you to do be real surreptitious. So that would be very nice. Yes, that's, uh, that would be very nice. Yeah, I like to get really close when I do mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I don't know. Good work. Great, Mark. Yeah, very nice. Good stuff there, Mark. Hey, good night. Good now. Got an early night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, eight eight o'clock. Good night. See you later, folks. All See right. you next week. Right. See you later, everybody. Thanks, Thanks Mark. All right. Thanks. Thank you, guys. It was See you everybody next Thanks. week. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Night. All right. All right. We're right. Bye. Thank you.